Get business commentary on Web3 news related to NFTs, crypto, metaverse, and more. The show is streaming to you from Dubai, the global crypto capital. Welcome, I'm Ayman Aitani, your host and guide to the exciting new world of Web3.0. In this episode, we learn more from the Dubai Metaverse Assembly, where we talk about the building blocks of the metaverse, the creative process for building in the metaverse, and much more. Let us hear from Bashar Kilani on the building blocks of the metaverse. Now we're moving from the digital world to the metaverse world, and, and digital has always been functionally correct, but it was lacking the human element or the creativity. And I think that's the layer and the opportunity where we can add creativity and human layer on top of the digital functions and features that we have. That's where the opportunity is, because that is where people can add their own content, create their own worlds, drive their own environments. And, and that's where we will create our businesses, our individual spaces, and, and, and that's where all the creativity in the metaverse is going to happen. Sam Hamilton shares his advice for the creative community on how to build creatively and monetize in the metaverse. So what is your advice to the creative folks uh, to contribute to the content and be part of the metaverse? So like never before, really like never ever before, the creative community can actually fund themselves and make money. Like, Everybody wants to build in the metaverse, but nobody really knows how. There's like, if you learn Blender, 3D modeling, if you can code using RSDK, or, you know, on other platforms, they have different ways of doing it, but there's money to be made. Like, this is like 20 years ago in, in the dot-com boom, you know, like, if you knew how to build a website, there was a brand that wanted a website. And it's the same. Every brand in the world at the moment wants a metaverse activation. So if you're a creative and you can build those for them, there's work for you. Next, we hear from the Chief Growth Officer of Everdome on what the business needs to do to join the metaverse. What is your advice for businesses who want to join the metaverse? It's good that they start. There are like many approaches to metaverse, but everyone here is sure that metaverse is the next big thing. If you are not in, like entering the metaverse, you are risking far more than entering it. What are the key things related to the business life cycle of a or of an organization, whether it's a commercial business or a government entity that wants to join the metaverse? Well, first one is an idea. Either you come with an idea, or you are, you know, we are setting this idea ourselves in like collaboration with you. Second thing is the planning and development process. So that's like a step two and three. Step four is the execution. So the whole uh, from the development to the product itself to the you know realization of the idea. And then is the marketing, support, billing, potentially. We will have more from the world of Web3 in our next episode. I leave you with the impressions of the attendees of the Dubai Metaverse Assembly, who describe it in three words. Can you describe the Dubai Metaverse Assembly in three words? Opportunities, innovation, and energy. This is a global event. It's more people here than any of the conferences that I've been to in the last six months. Metaverse Assembly for me has been energy, optimism, and networking. Very important opportunity. Future, collaboration, experts.